Hi everyone! This is our next vlog about Finland and this time we will film this episode at my parents' place. Midsummer is a very big party in Finland and nearly everybody is celebrating it. We have more, over 5000 summer cottages in Finland and most people they spend their midsummer in the summer cottages. And my family, uh, we don't have one. My parents have been looking for a summer cottage for many years but we still haven't found any. So we usually spend the midsummer in the city. Midsummer or Juhannus, as we call it in Finland, is the celebration of the light and summer used to be in ancient religions, it was a party of John the Baptist in Christian religions especially. In my family, Midsummer is especially a party of summer and family celebration. Used to be, we had like religions in Finland and Midsummer was a party of Ukko. Ukko was a Finnish god in the ancient times. There are many midsummer traditions in Finland. For example, we organize parties, we have fire outside, we eat fish and meat, and go to summer dances. What is very special in Finland in midsummer, especially from people abroad, is that the sun shines through the whole day, 24 hours a day. And we also have our flag 24 hours a day in midsummer. So this will be our midsummer table. The food is not ready yet, but I just wanted to show you this tablecloth because I have actually designed this myself. It's my new hobby to do some textile design. And this came from the post last week and now it's the first day on the table for the midsummer table. Traditional Finnish summer food. We have some salads here. We have new potatoes. We have meat, potato salad. This is mustard soup. Mustard, sorry, mustard sauce for fish. In Finland, we eat a lot of fish, and in summer, especially salmon. And here we have some herrings with different kind of sauces. Okay, let's go to see the surroundings where my parents live. Uh, there is windmill and some old buildings and something, so I will show you soon. So now we are going to see the place where Miss Blue lives. This is an old villa or manor house as we call here, named Haihara. And we organize here like wedding during the summer or kind of other parties, garden parties kind of things. The fact is, as I told you before, that Miss Blue lives here, and Miss Blue is a ghost. She's an old lady who walks here in the garden. And I was very afraid when I was a child, when I was walking here and it was dark. I was afraid of coming here, because I was afraid to see the Miss Blue here. Okay, now we are here in Kaugärvi and we have many beaches here and some, some summer cottages and we come to swim here nearly every day during the summer. And this is also the lake where Miss Blue drowned herself before she became a ghost. Midsummer magic plays a big part in our history and in the past people they, they truly believed in those things. In many magic tricks people made during the midsummer night, people were naked for some reason, I don't know why. But one thing is like you go to collect and pick up the flowers, nine flowers and you will put them under your pillow during the midsummer night and you will see your future spouse 
in your dream. So we are still here in Haihara Park and in this place here we have a summer cafe during the summertime. It's closed today because of the midsummer, but sometimes I come here to have a coffee and maybe something sweet. So now we will test if I will see my spouse during the night in a dream. So uh, I'm picking up these flowers now. Nine flowers behind the pillow. Finish summer and strawberry cake. Mm, yum. So this was our second video about Finland and this time about Finnish midsummer. I hope you enjoyed and in the future you will see most videos about Finland. See you!